WHDD presents Susan Says. Today's New York Post had a cover of a man on fire. He had set himself on fire in front of the White House. And I understand. I really do. We are all insane now because deranged Donnie has driven us mad. He ranted and paced in front of the press this morning, referring to himself in the third person, saying lies upon lies in a frenzy. All that was missing was foam coming out of those little orange pursed lips as he manically strutted back and forth and back and forth. I am sick to death with it all. We are all on fire. Mueller came out yesterday and said it's up to Congress. So now Congress do it. I don't care what the results are. I don't care what the Senate says. If the American people can sit through impeachment hearings and learn all the truth about the crimes, collusion, emoluments, lies, and not get on their senators to do the right thing, then democracy is dead anyway. Enough. There are all sorts of cries. We are exhausted. We can't take it anymore. No more drama. On fire. On fire is the one in the White House. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Watching TV and tweeting, this is not what presidents do. They don't call war heroes names or refer to themselves in the third person and adjust their ill-fitting jackets as a sign of defiance and fold their arms like a tantrum-throwing two-year-old. I'm going back to bed, no matches, I swear, but I understand. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.